Hi, my name is Lucio Simone. I'm the engineering manager for BC Group. In this segment, we'll be demonstrating leakage testing using the ESU 2050 on the FT10. To make our connections for leakage testing, we have our 0.1 to 1 current transformer that's connected to the 2050 already. We also have our foot switch port adapter since we're going to start with monopolar output testing. We're gonna take our active lead and plug that into the monopolar one port using that foot switch port adapter. Now I'm going to take the output, other end of the output cable and go through the current transformer and into my load. The other end of my load, I'm going to connect to earth ground and so we have a green cable that comes with the accessory kit just to help us identify what cables are doing what function. Typically we use yellow for monopolar, uh, blue when there's bipolar, and then green for ground. It just helps keep things straight. So now we have our connections. Notice we don't have anything to the REM port. That's okay because we're in demo mode. It'll still let me trigger the generator. And what we're doing is we're measuring the amount of current coming to, from the output port to earth ground. And so we can trigger the generator, typically with the maximum uh, power setting for each mode. So for cut, that's going to be 300 watts, and coag, that's gonna be 120 watts. So then we can get our measurement and compare that to uh, the limit and make sure that this device is safe. Typically it's 100 milliamps. So that's the monopolar one port test. We could also test the bipolar. So when we're testing bipolar, we have to have both pins of the generator active. There's actually a little micro switch in there that detects whether, there, whether or not there's a cable plugged in. So if we're gonna trigger this with the foot switch port, we have to have both of those micro switches depressed. And then we can trigger the generator and take our measurement for bipolar. Again, we have it set to the maximum power for that mode. And we're measuring from the active port through the load to earth ground. Now for bipolar, they ask you to test both ports independently. So we would also go and test the other port and make sure that has a safe leakage to it. The same can be done for uh, ligature. Again, we would use our single uh, active electrode through the current transformer to earth ground and take our measurement for ligature or monopolar two. The other measurement we need to make for leakage on monopolar one is on the REM port. So we need to make sure that the REM port does not have too much current going to ground. So for this test, I'm going to remove the yellow electrode that I had through the current transformer and I'm going to connect my return electrode through there. Now, it doesn't think there's anything plugged into my monopolar one port, so it won't let me activate the generator. I'll plug in the adapter. It will allow me to activate the generator, and we can take our measurement and determine whether that's within the limits for cut and coag at maximum power. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like further information, please contact us at 800-242-8428 or for international calls, be sure and dial the plus one for the U.S. 314-638-3800. Or you can email us at sales at bcgroupintl.com. For more information about our extensive line of BC Biomedical products and other vendor alliances, browse BC Marketplace located at bcgroupstore.com.